Hey, what's up guys? My name is Harrison. I'm actively enrolled in the Western Governors University uh, Cybersecurity and Information Assurance Bachelor's Program. I wanted to make this video to just kind of briefly explain to you like kind of how my first term at WGU went. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, a term at WGU is six months um, in which you can complete as many courses as you can take, more or less. Um, I say more or less because there are some caveats to all that, but I want to get into that soon. Um, to start, I want to kind of just introduce you all to kind of the enrollment process and how it was for me personally. Um, if you are looking for more information on WGU, like the specifics of, you know, what courses are transferable, how quickly you can actually work through all the material, um, I recommend this guy right here. Josh is awesome. His channel has so many great videos on WGU and all the different programs and resources they have. He's got whole spreadsheets devoted to just laying out all the coursework and just all the technical stuff. So if you want that, go to him. Uh, that's not what I have for you. I just have my personal experience and my feelings on how my first term went, uh, just so that a few of you maybe considering getting into this program can get kind of a you know fly on the wall view on what it was like for me. To start, I completed the ISC Squared Certified in Cybersecurity Certification, which is a great entry-level cert um, if you're looking to kind of wet your beak in the world of IT and specifically cybersecurity. Um, this certification is free. If you want to go do the coursework, you can start it right now. Um, I think the exam is like $50, but for the most part, I think I finished the whole cert, like all the coursework in like maybe two weeks, just blowing through it as fast as possible um, and just devoting all my time to it so that I could get started at WGU as quickly as possible. Um, having the cert now is great. Um, I've got it on my resume. I've got it on my LinkedIn. Uh, it was a great entry level into cyber and it also helped me get into WGU in the first place. Side note, I'm going to make another video soon about my review of the ISC Squared Certified Cybersecurity Certification. Uh, I will link that down below at some point, so go check it out. Like, subscribe. It'll be posted soon. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, once I had that, I submitted that to WGU and they uh, granted me enrollment. Um, I got started by getting prepared with my program mentor. Uh, your program mentor is your lifeline at WGU. They are there for you 24 seven. Well, not actually 24 seven, there are people too, but you get what I mean. Um, they're your best friend, right? They're your biggest resource. Uh, they help you do everything from assign and plan your courses to just chat. You know, they're just there as a friend sometimes. It's great. Um, I talk with my program mentor every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Uh, he's awesome. You know who you are. Um, yeah, they're there to keep you on the straight and narrow. If you have any questions at all, they are always your first resource to go to. Um, it's probably the best possible leg up the WGU could give you. So if you have any questions at all, they can usually answer them. And if not, they can point you to the resource you need to use to get the answer you're looking for. The program mentorship is one of my biggest selling points for WGU. As somebody who's coming from a traditional four-year university, um, getting in contact with your support there wasn't always as easy as they marketed it to be. Um, I remember having to schedule meetings with my counselors to get my classes booked and to answer any just menial questions I had like days out, which was really frustrating. WGU is not like that at all. Um, I reach out to my program mentor all the time. He's always super responsive. Um, they are awesome. Yeah, enough said. So once you uh, have your introductory meeting with your program mentor, they'll go ahead and schedule you for your initial courses. For me, it was uh, four courses, orientation, uh, rhetoric and composition, which is kind of like a gen ed class, um, IT applications and IT foundations. Uh, orientation is your best friend starting out. It is the course WGU assigns everybody to kind of teach them about all the resources that they offer and how to manage your time. It also teaches you a lot about kind of like their standards and their policies, you know, how you need to be holding yourself in terms of making sure that you're completing enough coursework to maintain a good academic standing. Um, it's really important that you pay attention in orientation. I know a lot of people are probably like so excited to get started and just want to blow through it and get to the meat of the bone with like the real classes. Um, that being said, that's one regret I have was that I didn't take orientation as seriously as I should have. And in turn, I found myself having to rely a lot on my program mentor to kind of tell me things I should have already knew about like the resources uh, that were offered to me. At the end of the day, like you're paying to be there. You're paying for those resources that they're handing to you. And if you don't know about them in the first place, how can you take advantage of your investment? Um, so I actually really recommend first step, just, you know, getting to know your program mentor and then taking orientation seriously. Uh, as silly as it sounds, it's important. 
Um, it's there for a reason and it'll just make it smooth sailing. Honestly, just take it seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so after orientation, um, I think the first class I had was like a gen ed class, like an English class, um, like rhetoric, something. Uh, it was pretty basic, right? It's one of those gen ed courses that you don't really want to take, but you have to. Um, that was always one of my gripes with traditional university was that, you know, I felt like I was paying to take a bunch of courses that had, you know, nothing to do with what I was actually there for. Um, that being said, you will find a bit of that at, G at WGU, but like not nearly as much as you would anywhere else. So that's a bonus in my book. Um, that being said, the courses you do have to take that are kind of gen ed-ish courses, uh, you blow through them pretty quickly. It's nothing to be too concerned about. It's not going to subtract that much time from like all the technical classes that you have to take. Um, so I'm not even going to talk about those all that much. Um, getting into the first two technical courses I took, it was the IT applications and IT foundations classes. Um, the exams for these are the two parts you need to take for your CompTIA Plus certification. So that cert is uh, two parts. It's two exams you have to take. Um, each of those classes is essentially like one huge study guide for those certifications. Um, you're actually using the CompTIA platform to work through their own course material that they developed for those certs. So, you know, at the end of the day, you finish those courses, you've got your CompTIA Plus. That's a huge win in my book. Um, it's really nice how at WGU, you can actually work through your course material while gaining professional certs. That's a huge selling point for them. And it's probably the selling point for me that actually made me not just consider WGU, but actually get enrolled there in the first place. So after you finish your initial four courses, um, you can take one extra course at a time. So I reached out to my program mentor and before I'd even finished my uh, fourth course, he'd already assigned me my next one. Basically you rinse and repeat. After your initial four, you basically just get assigned one extra course at a time and you work through that course and you complete it and you get another one. My first term, I think I completed just under half of the courses needed for graduation, which was huge for me. I was planning on this degree only taking me two terms in the first place. So the fact that I was able to knock out that much uh, through WGU uh, and my very first term was pretty big. Um, it kept me on course for graduation and it kept me within the bounds of my schedule. The biggest thing you'll find when you first start is that time management is key. Um, the only two people holding you accountable are yourself and your program mentor, kind of. The way everything is laid out, you know, you work in your own time. And if you're not able to adjust to adding more time to school, it's just gonna take you longer to finish. Time management was huge for me in my first term. Um, I'm not great at that in the first place and trying to adjust to only being held accountable by myself and my program mentor was a big change for me. I'd say that I reasonably devoted like 20 to 30 hours a week to my courses initially. I personally think that just looking at my schedule and where I'm at in life right now, that is where I'm comfortable. That being said, if you're able to devote you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week to your stuff, um, you can finish way faster. It's totally plausible. People have done it. There's a ton of videos of people who have finished their entire degree in one semester, one term. Um, I know Josh, once again, he has done it. That being said, I think that one year is plausible. I think it's perfect. Uh, that's what I've chosen to do. I'm on schedule for it. I'm on track for it. And I'm comfortable where I'm at right now with about 30 hours per week devoted to it. Um, I feel like it's like the right balance for me personally. I mentioned earlier like some of the resources at WGU, um, but two that I really enjoyed, uh, number one being the uh, WGU Cyber Club. Um, shout out Cyber Club. <laughs> uh, there is a huge Discord server with a ton of awesome channels and links in it. Um, the Cyber Club does like weekly events and game nights and they do CTF or capture the flag competitions all the time and just a bunch of cool stuff, man. If you're even remotely interested in cyber, uh, it's just really cool to be surrounded by a community of people like that. So immediately um, when you start your work that is like doing the exact same degree as you and has been there before, um, like if you ever have questions or advice, you literally have like hundreds of people there responding to you like immediately, like it's awesome. They also sponsor the uh, WG Tech Talks. Um, and what these are is like a panel of uh, WGU staff members and club members who are hosting a professional who actually works in the tech industry, typically in the cybersecurity industry. 
this individual comes in and we do like a huge zoom call with like several hundred people in it and they you know kind of tell us about their story and talk about kind of like the state of the industry they'll answer questions and give advice um, it's awesome it's a fantastic resource to have you know i understand that when you're first starting off it can be difficult to get in touch with professionals who work in this industry um, you know so it really is cool to be able to have them right there in front of you to just walk you through how they got to where they are to be able to ask them questions and hear them just talk about their whole process so that you can kind of self-replicate that is uh is really cool and um i'm going to be sure to attend more in the future so yeah guys that was just kind of like the most basic possible rundown of my first six months at wgu um, i'm starting my new term here this week uh, really looking forward to it i've got some really cool classes coming up um, I am going to be doing like a, a much more detailed breakdown of my, my first term as well as kind of what I have planned for my second coming pretty soon here. Um, I'll also be doing some more videos about WGU most likely. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them all. Um, if you want to get at me, I think I should have my Discord and all my socials linked on my YouTube page. So hit me up, guys. Peace.